Gaming Bolt presents 15 crimes that happened over video games. We've heard it so many times. Video games make people violent. That is, of course, a bit too simplistic. A violent person will be violent regardless of whether or not they play video games, one would think. And to say that only video games could elicit that kind of reaction in someone doesn't make much sense. But it also means that video games do elicit those kinds of reactions, if not exclusively. Here are 15 times people committed crimes over something related to video games. Father suffocates son. In April of 2014, Cody Wygant suffocated his 16-month-old son. Wygant was playing online on his Xbox, and when his son's crying started disturbing him, he covered the infant's mouth and nose for a number of minutes to make him stop, and then proceeded to cover him with several layers of bedding. When Wygant checked on the boy many hours later, he was unresponsive. Brother attacked with axe. 19-year-old Luke Marshall was having an argument with his older brother about equally dividing time for gaming between the two. Unfortunately, the argument got out of hand. Luke Marshall took an axe and attacked his brother with it, hitting his foot and wrist. The injuries were ultimately deemed minor, but the younger brother was still charged with several serious crimes. Call of Duty used for training for mass shooting. Anders Breivik carried out horrendous attacks on civilians in Norway, killing 68 people at a youth camp and nine more later on in bombings of government buildings. During his subsequent trials, Breivik claimed that he trained for these attacks by playing Call of Duty. School shooting over Doom Evan Ramsey was a school student who ended up shooting a number of people and later claimed to have been impacted by the first-person shooter Doom. He snuck a shotgun into his school killing and wounding several people, and stated that he did not understand that unlike in Doom, where you have to shoot your enemies numerous times to kill them, if you shot someone in real life, they wouldn't get back up. Father Kills Teen Daughter Tyrone Spellman was a man addicted to playing on his Xbox, and his addiction led to something rather unpleasant. During one of his play sessions, his 17-year-old daughter, Alaya Turman, accidentally pulled his Xbox's cords out of the wall. In a fit of rage, Spellman cracked her skull repeatedly, ending up killing her. GTA inspired crime spree. Devin Moore was a teenager who, like so many other teenagers, was a fan of Grand Theft Auto 3. He was brought to a police station on suspicions that he had stolen a car, but when he was there, he grabbed a gun, shot three people, two of whom were police officers, and then stole and drove off in another police vehicle. When he was eventually caught, he said, Life is like a video game. Everyone has to die sometime. Rifle shooting. Here's another crime that was inspired by Grand Theft Auto 3, as the culprits claim themselves. Two stepbrothers in Tennessee, aged 14 and 16, found rifles in their home and, inspired by their activities in the game, started shooting at vehicles on an interstate at random. As a result of these shootings, a 45-year-old man was killed, while a 19-year-old girl was also wounded starting a fire with Molotov cocktails. In 2010, two boys, aged 12 and 16, stole five gallons of gasoline, made several Molotov cocktails, and then proceeded to use these to set fire to a garage and an apartment building. When the police arrived, they also found explicit graffiti in their area. The culprits claimed that they had gotten their ideas from their actions in Grand Theft Auto. Counter-Strike Revenge Stabbing Julianne Baru was a 20-year-old man who was playing Counter-Strike online, when his character was killed by a knife-wielding player. Baru spent the next several months plotting his revenge, tracking down his target, finding out where he lives, then went to his house and stabbed him in the chest. The victim, thankfully enough, survived while Baru was sentenced to two years in prison. Son Kills Mother Ayanut Savine was addicted, like so many others, to playing Counter-Strike online when he was 15 years old, but this addiction led to some horrendous actions. Due to his addiction, his social life was non-existent, and he had missed over 200 days of school. His mother decided to take action and cut off the internet connection. Savine, in a fit of rage, stabbed her 17 times, killing her, then stole all of her money, went to an internet cafe, and played the game for four more hours. Dispute over cyber weapon. Qi Qingwei was a consumer of the MMO Legend of Mir 3. While playing the game, he loaned one of his weapons to another player, who then proceeded to run off with the weapon, stealing it. When the cops told Ki that they couldn't help him, since the stolen property wasn't actually real property, Ki decided to take matters into his own hands. 
he tracked down his friend and stabbed him in the chest, killing him. MMO Feud When a Russian Players Guild in Lineage 2 killed a rival player in-game, the two guilds decided to settle their rivalry in real life. The two groups engaged in a brutal fight, which resulted in injuries to one man. The injuries were so horrible that the man succumbed to death soon after. Mother loses patience, kills her son. Alexandra Tobias was addicted to Farmville, and while playing the game, her three-year-old son started crying and wouldn't stop. She lost her patience with the child, picked him up and violently shook him repeatedly. This resulted in head and leg injuries to the child, who died due to this incident. Tobias confessed to her actions and faces a long term of imprisonment. Funding his gaming habit Din the Dan was a 13-year-old boy who was addicted to playing games online. However, to fund his online gaming habit, he ended up killing someone. He choked an 81-year-old woman to death with a rope before stealing her money in order to fund his gaming habit, then proceeded to bury her body in a pile of sand at his place of residence. Man loses temper over World of Warcraft. 21-year-old Justin Williams was a fervent World of Warcraft player. He was having an argument with his fellow players over his headset, which devolved into a screaming match. One of his neighbors came to his home to tell him to calm down, saying that it's just a game. Williams lost it at this point, grabbing his neighbor by the throat and punching him and then stabbing him. The neighbor survived, but Williams was promptly arrested. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.